What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody's doing good. Today, we are joined by one of the most dominant power forwards in the NBA today. This is Memphis Grizzlies' own Jaron Jackson Jr. How you doing, man? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I don't want to hold you too long because I know the season is moving. Everything's going on. in season tournament. So much going on. So I want to get straight to it. Um, Now, you know, aside from the professional, the, the NBA piece of things, I actually want to kind of talk to you about, speak to you about Giving Tuesday. You know, I know we're partnering up to help give back and help, um, you know, continue our mission of giving back to the community and having the impact in the community. I would kind of love to know what is Giving Tuesday look like to you and kind of what motivated you to um begin that Giving Tuesday campaign? Um, well, I've been doing stuff in the community as long as I can remember. It really came from my uh, my dad and my mom doing camps uh, when they were, I won't say younger, well, younger, younger age. And uh, they were just doing a lot of work where they were from and it inspired me. Um, I love to target the winter times just because I feel like that's the time when people want a little cheer when it's cold and um, especially I'm an East Coast kid. So it kind of goes in line with what I remember about the East Coast and just being cold and um, especially people who don't are not as fortunate um, at that time. You know, they're paying rent, doing a lot of stuff, trying to make sure. So the, the surplus really isn't there. So I kind of just want to make sure that that's covered at times um, and foundations help me. So I'm, I partner with people and we do a lot of good. I love it. I love it. And, you know, this is not, like I said, this is something you've been doing for a long time. I think this is also the third Giving Tuesday that you've done. I would love to kind of know, too, what are some of the learnings that you've learned from the past, two that kind of helped you be more impactful going forward with each, you know, um, Giving Tuesday campaign when you give back? What's some of the learnings that you've had so far? Um, Definitely everything helps. Um, there's not a time when... Uh, when a little bit is not greatly appreciated um, and the excitement on a kid's face or, or even a parent or anybody is, is everything. Like it's, it's everything you want. Um, and I don't think I knew how much I would like doing charity work or not charity, but community work when I first started getting into it. Cause I thought I would be, I was required to do it, which I am. But when I finally did it, when I first got in the league, I was just like, yeah, this is definitely something I want to continue to do. I love it. I love it. And I think I would love to know, too, with you have to pour so much into your career, right? You have to pour so much into, like, who you are off the court, on the court, your skill, getting better, performing for a team, and also just developing your own skill while also doing all these things off the court. How, how do you find that balance of doing the two, um, of like balancing out the two and being just as impactful off the court as you are on the court? Um. There's always time. I have help. I have a great team. I don't do anything alone. I, uh, my family still helps me out. My, um, my team helps me out, and uh, my teammates help me out. Shoot, uh, it, it's a group effort. I never do anything by myself, um, and will never, uh, because I, I just don't think that's that's realistic. Especially to do to do as much good as possible, you need to team up with people who work in the space and know have knowledge of it. Um, and you just gotta want to do it. There's time if you make time for anything. For sure. All about that planning. And definitely that team piece is important because you can get so much done, so much more done together than you can just on your own. Eventually kind of hit that roadmap when you need a team. So I love that team aspect of things. Um, earlier you mentioned how uh, when I asked you about it, like your learnings, you mentioned how like, you know, just seeing people like how how they're impacted by, you know, what, what you're able to bring to the campaign and, you know, the smile on people's faces and the joy. I would love to know as much as you're, the work that you do helps and give back. Is there a particular moment or a particular instance with somebody or, 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 a, or a moment where you gave something back that like kind of sticks with you that you kind of hold close that like, if you think about it, it's like, man, that's why I do it. Or like, Oh, that's the impact I'm having. Is there a certain moment like that that kind of sticks out to you? Yeah. Probably working with, um, not, not exclusively single mothers at the women's foundation or in, in that realm, but like, mothers and single mothers because i just feel like the way their face lights up because they're working so hard like they're working so hard for their children and um children always light up um or sometimes they don't just because they don't really have a grasp of it you know it's yeah. just like they're, 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 yeah. and they're just, sometimes there's a camera point in front of their face and they don't know what to do 
you know, we're usually documenting things. It's just a lot, but a uh, mom knows the ins and outs of a lot of things and they they know what I do. They know, they know where I come from. Uh, and they're, and they're usually not expecting it so much. And it usually means a whole lot because they are really putting in the work to help make sure their kids are doing stuff every day. I love that. I love that. Now, like I said, I want to make sure I respect the time. I know you're busy. You're a busy man right now. We're in season. And I appreciate you cutting out time for this. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier at the top of the show, we'll be also donating to a few different organizations to help you accomplish those missions for Giving Tuesday and just helping your community efforts um, going forward. Girls, uh, Girls Inc. Memphis, Light, uh, Light Memphis, Man and Man Up Teaching. Um, these organizations that we're helping donate back to through you and collaborating with you with on. Um, what do those organizations mean to you? And I guess also like what what about them makes you want to donate to them specifically too? Um, well, I, I work with a lot of I, girls in sports. That's kind of where my um, heart was at. And that goes just beyond sports. I just speak for those who may need more of a voice. It's not like they have no voice. I think we've come a long way, um, but there's still a lot more to do. And I think um, I just speak for those who need it. It's not you target what you believe in and what you what you care about and what you believe people need. That's just the basis of it. It's not that complicated. I love that. I love it. Now, I, I want to ask you one more question and we're going to wrap things up. With your career right now in the NBA and the work you're doing in the community and both being equally as important and valuable to you and bringing you joy, that return of energy, pouring out in the court, pouring into the community, what do you want to be remembered as as you continue to have that impact in the community and as an NBA player, like that legacy, how, how do you want your legacy to kind of be like that as you continue to do this work? I think that I donate for sure, but that I'm really in the field. Like I really go see people and touch people. Uh, I really go like, I'm just out here for real. Like, I, I really enjoy it. Um, yeah. The, just that I'm out here. A lot of people say it and sometimes people are too busy and, and their money doesn't know. But um, being there attached to it, I think that's what it is. And, you know, just the stories from everybody else. That's what I want to be highlighted. I love that. I love that. I, I, I love that. Like, at the same time, we see you on TV all the time. And sometimes those people could be seem untouchable or like they could almost seem unreal because we only see them through our TV or our phone. But being able to have that community impact, seeing people, touching hands, helping out, giving things back, I think is like, changing lives, saving lives, and doing so much. So I definitely appreciate the work you do. Thank you. Of course. Well, thank you very much for joining us today for another episode of Community Voices, and we'll see you all next week. Take care. You're